Welcome back everybody, and today I have below me a shulker box loading system. So if I go ahead and throw in a sapling right here, as you can see, the box pops off and falls into this hopper line right here, along with these other ones. And as you can see, it is decently compact, it's not one wide tileable, but it is vertically tileable, and the design is three deep four wide and two tall. So if I go ahead and get the bling edit uh, rod, I guess it's called, go ahead and select that corner and that corner, clone that. There we go, left, up. That should be right on top of itself. Clone and repeat, there we go, clone and repeat. I have no idea what happened here. Well, let's just get rid of this one. I don't, I don't know what happened. Not in the slightest. Anyway, let's go ahead and activate this one here, which should be as simple as placing that there. And as you can see, we have three designs three designs, two designs, right on top of each other. Throw the sapling into this one. It didn't copy over the comparator. There we go. And it keeps on running through. There we go, and on the bottom design. As you can see, it does trigger the top one, however that is not important as the top one already has a shulker box right here. And the reason this is good is so you can run your sorting system in multiple lines like so, or perhaps in a sort of tower like so, and then have a line going out the other side right here, like so. So you'd have bulk input right here. They would fill up on both layers. And then the boxes would all pile at the bottom. All right, over here for the tutorial, place two hoppers here next to your dispenser. This will be your output line. This will be your item input line. And one hopper facing into the dispenser from this side for your item input line. Another option is to put your item input your shulker box input line is over here. Your item input line can also go on the top, allowing for your shulker, bo shulker box input line going on the side. But of course that ruins the whole vertical tile ability. So I will be building the design like this. Now you can go ahead and place a block here with an observer right here facing into the block. Sticky piston facing over like so and an observer facing into the dispenser. You can go ahead and place a block here and a block here, as well as a regular piston right there. For now, I'll go ahead and break that. Go ahead and place a redstone torch right there and a redstone block right there. Comparator set to subtract mode and a regular comparator just on addition mode. And that is your design complete. So if I go ahead and get a sapling and throw it in, then I'll go ahead and file into here, over here. And of course I can keep going. But anyway, that's gonna do for today's episode. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.